Uh, now we will switch gears. We go from zinc manganese uh, to to zinc uh, halide batteries uh, from EOS, uh, and we have uh, Lucas here who has been with uh, EOS uh, since 2016. So he has gone through, you know, the uh, nitty gritty of the development. Uh, Lucas is also a fellow European, you know, he, he was educated in, in Germany. I'm originally from Austria. And uh, Lucas is gonna here to introduce uh, uh, EOS's uh, approach to long duration energy storage. Yeah, my name is uh, Lucas. Like I said, I've been at uh, EOS Energy Enterprises now um, for some time. Um, I've been a scientist and now a director in our um, R&D team. Um, so, you know, work closely with a lot of our uh, technology development over the years. Um, we are a publicly traded company at the moment. So our presentation materials have to have this nice disclaimer about forward looking statements. We have a proprietary uh, zinc based aqueous um, battery technology that we developed, patented, um, manufacture and sell. Um, and like a lot of uh, the technologies in this basis, you know, non-flammable, relatively safe, recyclable. Um, these are all very kind of important um, building blocks when we set out to kind of determine the chemistry we wanted to, to sell and then develop that. Um, and now we're pivoting to our kind of follow on product, which we're calling Z3. So that's kind of currently in manufacturing scale up. Um, currently. And that's what we're trying to take to really kind of mass scale to meet the, the really rapidly growing um, demand in this field. So the picture you see here is a, a mock-up of our battery module. Um, the component marked as one is a bipolar electrode assembly. Um, so we put 19 of those as well as two terminal electrodes into the tub we have here marked as three um, to make a 20 cell bipolar battery complete. It's a static battery, so there's no, you know, kind of flow or movement. All the electrolyte is contained within the cells where we put it. Um, and we use an, what we call an aqueous uh, mixed halide and zinc electrolyte. As I mentioned, we have an existing uh, manufacturing facility. It's out in Turtle Creek by Pittsburgh. We are currently manufacturing there, and we also manufactured our previous um, Gen 2.3 technology offering there. And right now, really the main focus for our company is to pretty aggressively work on scaling up our manufacturing capacity. And as I mentioned, we have an existing install base of our previous um, technology generation. So our largest uh, site is currently um, is a solar plus storage site. And solar plus storage is you know, really, I think the kind of um, core of our use case and, you know, kind of applications um, historically, and also we very much expect into the future. Um, this site we have discharged at, you know, 50 megawatt hours in one cycle um, for a four hour duration cycle. So this is for us, I think really kind of represents an intermediate or maybe even a little larger than intermediate step from the sort of pilot scale up to the size of systems that the market is now starting to demand. You're seeing a lot of, you know, requests for systems in dozens of megawatt hours and even, you know, hundred and hundreds of megawatt hours, which, you know, for a kind of um, up and coming company, that's a pretty significant challenge to meet those kind of project sizes. Um, so we, you know, kind of see ourselves as having taken some significant steps on that learning curve, uh, moving up to be able to produce and also, you know, operate um, the kind of project sizes that grid scale clients um, are going to be wanting in the near future and, and even now. So thank you.